So you want to meet with me today? Yes. Dr. Peverly, perhaps did I make a mistake in applying to Tufts early action? I got back from my interview at Tufts where I got a tour of the lab, as well as of the U, just a while later. Early action? At least you avoided the mistake of applying early decision. The only difference I know between early decision and early action is that ED is binding while early action is not. Early action allows you to explore the funding level of each school and to keep options open even if you're admitted to the school where you used early action. Early decision is a rarity in the graduate admissions world. What pitfalls await ED applicants? Applying early decision, especially ED2, is like writing a check for a car or a house without even knowing how much it costs. Early decision, as well as early action, is used by the wealthy and best and brightest at the undergraduate level. Plus, I think you confuse differential deadlines by applicant category with early action. For Tufts you're an international applicant, and thus you had all your credentials sent to the school's admissions office by December the 15th. If Tufts actually offered to apply early action to a PhD, would you do it? Early action? Yes. But early decision? No. Sure, early decision applicants are the most motivated of the bunch, and it demonstrates drive. But do you want to know why early decision is a rarity in graduate admissions that aren't to professional programs? Because graduate comes work with much less applications and are willing to look at all of them before deciding on the composition on their entering class. And that the students who apply early decision often do not research schools with as much care. I think you would become a great admissions officer if you failed to earn a PhD yet got past the predoctoral exams. That said, early decision isn't for the faint of heart, since there's the pressure to decide that isn't present in early action plans that aren't single choice. But, if one gets into a school early decision, all other applications that the student filed, if any, should be withdrawn, which isn't something an early action applicant should normally do. By the way, do you know how much funding you will get at Tufts, if admitted? And I hope you know that Boston is an expensive city to live in for a graduate student. $22,660 a year plus $5,500 summer grants, subject to availability. And tuition remission. I know that most graduate schools in the U.S. that fully fund students will not tell on their website how much funding a graduate student will get and they will not always answer funding questions before a student is admitted. On the other hand, Canadian schools are transparent enough about funding to budget graduate school prior to applying. Early decision is often a tool to shaft students at all levels out of precious financial aid, except for thesis programs. There's no such thing with early action, though.